Welcome back to the channel, Crypto Tro. I am Crypto Tro, bringing you the latest and the greatest in cryptocurrencies for beginners. And today, man, we're going to talk about Mad Mirror Finance and the new bridge that they just announced on the project. So they're pretty much partnering with Multi-Chain, and we're going to get into that and talk about it and just go over how you will be able to bridge your assets from into the Kronos main net. But before we get into that, man, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Y'all are some real ones, man. So let's get in straight into it. MMF or Mad Meerkat Finance, let's talk about it. So you know I like to start out with deck screener, just showing you what's going on on the Kronos blockchain. And we can see MMF and the Rap Crow pair is the number one traded pair on the Kronos blockchain as we speak. So I want to just look at the chart and just take a look at what's been going on. So right now we see we're on a just a slight downtrend just over the past couple of days, but that's been the entire crypto market, man. <clears throat> you got to understand right now, the crypto market is going crazy and I'm, I'm not going to just speculate too much, but you know, this is the last week to get your taxes in. So a lot of people are finishing, you know, doing a couple of sell-offs uh, for, you know, and taking some profits in a couple of positions to pay off their taxes. But that's just, you know, purely speculation. But that's one of the reasons I believe the entire crypto market is going down. And then with everything else that's going on in the world, we know it's a war going on and all of this stuff. So we know it's a lot of factors that can play into it. But in my personal opinion, I believe MMF has been holding up really well during this or this short bear season. I believe MMF has been doing really, really well. And really, this is just a good time to just collect more MMF, in my personal opinion. You can see right there, that's a little floor right there at $1.15. So that is a good position, I believe. So we see in the last 24 hours, it is down 14%, 6 hours, 6% an hour, 2.8%. So it is kind of on a, it's on a downtrend, of course, but... With all the developments that's going on, I believe it's going to be more and more people taking notice of what MMF is. So let's get into the good stuff, man, the MMF bridge. So if you want to go to the bridge, you can easily just go to the MMF or MM.finance website and then go to trade. And you can see at the bottom of it, it says bridge. You just want to click on it and it takes you to the bridge. So this is the mm finance bridge and you can see right now i'm currently connected to the chronos blockchain so when you're connected to the chronos blockchain you can take your assets from chronos blockchain and go to other blockchains so we see right here it says cross chain bridge transaction can take up to 30 minutes depending on network the mad meerkat bridge underlying liquidity is currently powered by multi-chain or previously any swap and I got to say, excuse my voice, guys. I've been a little bit under the weather change of weather just been going crazy with the allergy season. But your boy going to stick it through. It's been a couple of days since I made a video. So I had to come back. But anyway, all right. So when you are on the bridge, you pretty much, if you're connected to the Kronos mainnet, you can pretty much go to all of the major there ones. So we see Avalanche. We see ETH, BNB. OEC, HECO, Polygon, Phantom, KCC, and all of them pretty much only allow you to go to USDT. So if you're going from the Kronos mainnet over to another blockchain, then right now they currently only allow you to send USDT through that bridge. But let's say if you're going from, if we're going from ETH to the Kronos. So if we wanted to go from E to Kronos, we would have a lot of more tokens to choose from. So let's just go down the list. We can see USDC. Then we got ETH. So right now I got like 0.01 ETH, but I believe it's a specific limit. So you got to be greater than 0.017 ETH. So I got 0.0136. 
I really don't be buying nothing on or be using the blockchain like this. So I really don't uh, have any reason to have any ETH on my wallet. But this is how you would go from the ETH blockchain to Kronos if you wanted to bridge your ETH over. And you just simply put in the amount. And I would do a test run first. I'll put in the smallest amount I can send at first. And then, you know, come back and then bridge the rest. But this is pretty much how you would do so. You know, put it in there. Put the balance in there. Hit swap. It's going to take up to 30 minutes. It could take up to 30 minutes. I've used any swap before. Just depending on how many people are on or trying to bridge onto this specific chain at that time, it could take more time if it's a lot of people but usually when it's not congested it goes really really fast so it just depends on when you try to bridge but it always goes through from my experience so that is just the overview of the cross chain bridge i really didn't have enough in my wallet to show you guys how to actually do it but like i said you can use this to bridge your assets if you are on East Blockchain Avalanche. Okay, I was so I was actually mistaken. You really only could do it from the East Blockchain, man. So if you want to bridge, you only can bridge over from ETH, but you can bridge your assets onto another chain from the Kronos blockchain. So if you want to go from the Kronos blockchain, let me see. If you want to go from Kronos to another chain you could and majority of the chains though only offer usdt so if you want to go from chronos to another chain with usdt you absolutely could and me personally only reason i would do that if is if i wanted to easily just to adapt on another chain but it's so many ways you can do it but this is just one of the ways to bridge your assets from the Kronos to another L1 blockchain. And if you want to go from ETH to the Kronos blockchain with USDC or ETH or another stable coin, you could, all you have to do is simply just put in the amount. So I'm not sure what's the minimum let's see what's the minimum amount i only got like 96 cents here so the minimum amount is 40 usdc if you wanted to go from the ethereum blockchain to the chronos blockchain that is how you do so you just simply you know click on this and choose your blockchain right now we're on the ETH blockchain and then it's going to automatically connect you on metamask then you want to go to which is the bottom one you want to hit the chronos blockchain so it's from e to the chronos blockchain and then you have to have at least 40 dollars to do so so that is the bridge that's the spill on the bridge if you want to do that you can do that and i believe it's going to be major just having the ability to bridge your assets over to the chronos blockchain if you are already on eth so that's not it for the video man i want to give a major major shout out we see What's going on right now as far as blockchains? We see Kronos is coming in in the ninth place. But not only that, we see that MM Finance is leading the way at 32% dominance, man. I remember a time when VVS Finance was going crazy when they first deployed. But MMF has really fought its way up through those ranks. And we see it's taking the number one place with a 32% dominance and it's just going crazy so shout out to the team shout out to everybody who's been watching the videos and listening to me talk about mmf if you got in when i got in you are really really in profit and if you got into the lps then you are super duper in profit if you bought the nfts you are going absolutely crazy man because we know the nfts are like the, i believe the four prices of the tree houses and the mad meerkats are at least like four thousand dollars a piece so it's going absolutely crazy right now so shout out to mm finance for doing so and not only that we see the chronos blockchain is finally giving mmf the flowers it deserves putting it in the newsletters we see 
notable native projects. We see METF is mentioned. Then we go down, we see under NFTs, we see the Mad Meerkat NFT launch is new Mad Meerkat Treehouse collection. And it was very well received by the Kronos community as the collection was fully minted out within minutes. But what they failed to say is, I mean, they not going to say it because it's going to look bad on the Kronos blockchain, but what they failed to say is the Mad Meerkat absolutely crashed the blockchain because it was going so crazy. And then we see the DeFi. We see MM Finance exceeded $1 billion in record high total value lock for the protocol. So this makes it top five DEXs among all chains for the month of March. Going crazy. Just look at the record, you know, trading volume just going through on out the day. And then that's not even it, man. Wait until the game drops. Like this, this was all before they even announced the game was going to drop. You see what I'm saying? So just wait until they add that aspect into it where MMF is used for gas and all of that good stuff. We're going to see a lot of things come out. Now, this is all speculation. You know, companies and projects do sometimes overpromise, but everything MM Finance has said they have done. So I'm taking their word for it. I'm just going to continue to ride the wave as we see new developments come out, man. So that's my video for today, man. Just wanted to give you a spill on the MM Finance Bridge, how you can go from Kronos to another chain, and then how you can go and bridge your assets from ETH onto the Kronos blockchain. So if you haven't already, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Crypto Troll, I'm out of here.